In this lesson, we're going to get an overview of the interface. All right, so whenever you open up your Unreal Engine project, um, you'll see that we have the level editor. And the interface can be a little daunting at first, but we're going to break it down into easy, manageable chunks. So right at the top, we have the menu bar. And this is pretty standard across all software. Uh, the menu bar is going to allow you to have access to a lot of the common tools used for managing your projects, managing your files, and then even managing uh, some aspects about the interface. Now beyond the menu bar, we have this modes panel. And the modes panel is going to be made up of other tabs inside of that modes panel. So we have the place tab, paint, landscape, foliage, and then even beyond that we have the geometry editing tab. All of these have a very special um, case. So obviously the place tab is going to allow you to place objects into your level. So for example you can see that with the place tab activated you are under geometry by default and you can grab these different pieces of geometry and just drag those into the scene. Now at this point um, you could move them and manipulate them, but we're not going to talk about that just yet. Go ahead and delete that object that we just dragged in. Now you'll notice that there are other categories as well. We have lights, we have visual components, we have the basic components, volumes, and then we have all the classes of our components that we can bring into the Unreal Editor. Now after the modes panel we have the content browser. The content browser is one of the most important browsers or um, pieces of the interface that you will interact with. This is how you manage your project and how you manage your assets. So you're going to see in here that once we start importing um, assets into our project, you're going to see all of them listed here. And then we can pick through which assets we want we can bring them into our levels, we can begin to edit those assets, and it's all going to be done right here from the content browser. Even though it looks like one of these other menus, I don't want you to underestimate the power of the content browser. Now beyond the content browser, we have the toolbar across the top. The toolbar just allows us to have quick access to some of the most commonly used tools in Unreal Engine 4. So for example, we're going to be using this build tool quite a bit. And this will allow us to build lights, to build our game, and different aspects of our projects. Now beyond the toolbar, we have the scene outliner. And the scene outliner is very important because it allows us to see all of the objects that are in our level. And we can select objects uh, right here from the scene outliner. And this makes things very easy. Now after a while, you may get lots and lots of different objects in your scene and this can become a little overloaded. So just uh, be aware of that and make sure that you are renaming objects as needed. Now beyond the scene outliner, you'll notice that we have our details panel. And the details panel is very important because it allows us to edit the different objects that we have selected in our scene. So for example, if we select our player start object, you'll see that that is selected right here in the viewport. And in the details panel, it gives us information about the transform of the object. So this is the location, the rotation, and scale values of that particularly selected object. Then we have um, something like the object, um, rollout, rendering, input, actors, and blueprints. Um, some of these are pretty standard across all objects. Now we could also select something like the light source. By selecting it, we may get other parameters in our details panel. So this will change depending on the kind of object that you have selected in your scene. Now once we um, get outside of our details panel, we have one final area, and that's going to be the viewport. The viewport is going to be your window into your game's world. So here we can place objects into the scene, we can move them, rotate them, scale them, uh, manipulate them in any way inside of our world. And we'll do that with several of the different tools that you can see right here in your viewport. You see the move tool, rotate, and scale, and then those different options that allow us to manipulate those objects okay, with those particular tools. Then we have uh, these options here that allow us to manipulate how the world is viewed. So for example, we're looking for the, through the perspective view at the moment. We are looking at it in a lit render mode, and then we can show different aspects of our uh, project right here inside of our view. 
So now that we are looking at our view, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can navigate inside of that view, because that's going to be very important. I don't want to just place objects right here where I'm sitting. I want to be able to move around and take a look at my world as if I'm right inside of it. So to get started, I'm going to show you the standard way of navigating the viewport. This can be done by holding down the left mouse button and dragging your mouse, and this will allow you to dolly forward and backward, and then also allow you to look left and right, okay, as if you're controlling that camera. Now if you hold down the right mouse button, and drag, that will allow you to look around with the camera in place. Then if you hold down the middle mouse button and drag, this will allow you to pan in a parallel direction of the view uh, that your camera is viewing. So you can see how we're panning around here. Now the next way of navigating in the viewport is by using the fly-through method. And this can be done by holding down the right mouse button. And here you can look around, just like we normally would. But while you're holding down that right mouse button, if you hit the W key, that will allow you to fly forward. If you hit the S key, that will allow you to fly backward. The A key to the left, and then D to the right. Now you can also use Q, which will allow you to move down, and then E, which will allow you to move up. So this is a very common way of navigating inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now you can also adjust the camera speed using this fly-through by clicking on this option right here. And you can see that we're at a default value of 4. You can speed it up if you're in larger worlds, or you can slow it down if you're trying to get into tight-knit spaces. So this can be very helpful. Notice how slow the camera is moving here. Normally we'll stick at around a value of 4. All right, now the final way that I want to show you the navigating in the viewport is by um, selecting an object in the scene. So for example, click on your player start object here. And if you hit the F key, that will frame in on that object. And then what I can do is I can orbit around the object, I can pan with the object, and then I could also um, look around with that. So if we hold down the Alt key, and then I hold down the left mouse button and drag, this will allow me to orbit around that particular object. Now if I hold down Alt and the middle mouse button, that will allow me to pan. Now I can still hold down the Alt, uh, the middle mouse button without Alt, and that will allow me to pan as well. And then one final thing, if we hold down Alt and the right mouse button, this will allow me to zoom in and out. Notice how smooth that is. Now I can still use the zoom in and out with the scroll wheel, but you'll notice that it scrolls in and out in an incremental fashion. And sometimes that can be a little annoying uh, because it may zoom too far or it may not zoom far enough. All right, so with all of that set, we've learned how to navigate. We've taken a look at the, uh, the overview of the interface. Let's go ahead and move on into our next lesson where we'll talk about how to import assets and begin to manage those in our content browser.